So we did texture apply a little bit for our ground. Now I want to add a little bit more of the texture on the mountains going. So we'll go to create a new layer. Let's go call sides. And same things. I'm going to actually enable highlighter so I can preview how it's laying. In the presence, I want to bring this a little bit up. So we'll take and bring higher and again relative to C we want to switch okay let's go bring up you know make a little bit lower like around here and we'll cut from the top so just around this area but because now I'm using top and bottom I want to add smooth kind of transitions on both those edges maybe around this area Okay, so right here we kind of planted. Um, one thing before I start working with Ridge, sometimes I want to create um, dots. It's a little bit harder to do, like for example, rocks or other things with this. And we can do with transparency. So we can go inside and, okay, let me move right here, set the 100% global transparency. We'll click variable transparency. We don't need to go inside the function. We'll just need double time click and we can select some function so this way notice it does not necessarily will show right now my transparency here but we are kind of applying if you want higher contrast we can always go edit filter and just add that right there let me click on this new key point here another key point here and we'll just leave it more contrast for our element. So again, if you preview and let me do this way, we uncheck red so we can preview. You can see how right now it's kind of creating this distribution. Also with highlighter, it's not necessarily showing you a material property because we are overriding material property, but it will show you the positioning oops, actually let's go down one it's will showing you overall material positioning where it will distribute in the press so next i want to remove some of the hills so we'll go a little bit more maybe let's bring right around there same we'll add well, i see in this kind of on both of them Okay, and let's work on the colors. So for this one, I want to create a darker color. And okay, reset here. We'll go again with natural green. And I do like natural green because it is not constrained to just to one color. It's give you this combination as well. So we'll go right here. We'll add much more saturated red. And we'll add lighter color so you can see we have this nice rocky kind of look roughness a little bit contrast and let's with distortion just add there you go okay so right it's hard to see kind of but if we come you'll see some of those details again um some of this because we increased fuzziness so let's take this down slightly and you can see kind of the distributing right here on the end. So it's add a little bit of those rockiness effect. Um, we could take and bring, let's bring a little bit down here. So it's spread a little bit more. And right there you can see them kind of start coming up. Again, many times when you create terrain, you want to add layers, more and more layers. So you will have it nice. Um, kind of complex material going on your terrain. So also on the default right here, what I want to do, I want to uncheck this box and I want to set this color to darker. So I want a little bit more contrast at the mountains. Okay, so we create this, we create mountains. Uh, let's add 
few more kind of maybe greenish little bit yellowish right on the bottom and we'll do same things as we did with side so we create a new and um kind of maybe plants or grass will go to do with this as we're working we'll go with natural grain and we'll just select one is darker greenish yellow and one is yellowish kind of fall a bit more color so you can see we kind of have a two of those um, pop up roughness a little bit contrast okay next we'll do same things what we did with transparency because I want to add some elements and we'll go with variable transparency but when we preload it I will just use it kind of like going around scattering and on a presence we'll go to relative to the C again we can enable highlights so I want to see where the placement will happen and I want to take this and bring it down so we don't need on a top but I want to bring down like maybe 30 meters let's see how far and we'll go add a fastness on top Okay, and this is probably what I want. I don't necessarily want to remove from some of these edges, but I want to apply over. And if we check, you can see right here we'll have it now applied to. Okay, let's go one more time. Visibility. Okay, you can see it's kind of applied to the top of ours. Again, it's not as sometimes strong how you think, but it is all these complex materials. It will add over and over. And always remember as you work save your uh, progress so you can come back if you need it okay so this is we have our plant let's create next snow so and we will have a two type of snow one snow will go on the top and the reason is why because like on the top it's not necessarily melting but on the side it's melting but it's melting on those ridges so we want to remove this so snow top will go color We'll switch to natural grain and right here we're actually going to have it like a little bit bluish on this one and it's almost like white grain kind of so you can see right here how distribution a um, couple things with the snow now we need add highlights so we'll add a little bit highlights for the arrow snow maybe even brighter we don't need it add reflection we could if we create ice but I think for this far away it just will add another complexity and you know this is a little bit too blue so let's go to all the way white so we'll just add a little bit nicer okay um, also you notice we don't work with the bump map and we could add some bump maps to this we can go inside and again we'll do just simple just preload it one of them and send bump maps to 0 0.1 very very low and we also take scale and we'll take just very small scale and let's go to add to add just in case if we ever decide to go on the bottom this is just add small grains not really visible but just in, in there what is important for us it's not to work with presence depend where we're going to place this and again relatively to see I want to place on the top this is will be top our snow so we'll go right here go up as we can maybe a little bit lower around this area and now let us we need to do on a bottom to add fuzziness so I want this bottom smooth kind of going down there so we'll add more and maybe bring so right here this is our top snow but what's happening with top snow we also have it kind of on a side it's what I want to add as well so we'll go create a new have it side the snow for this one okay and same things we want to do 
let's go natural grain i'll do one white okay one just little bit offset on a blue just slightly okay we'll leave it kind of default um highlights let's bring highlights up for this a little bit more on a shiny okay um i don't want for these bumps so we're okay on this we'll just it will add or replace it so we'll just go from whatever below okay and a presence right here let's enable our highlighter um i want to put it a little bit below but not all the way so we'll take again relative to the c we'll take this and bring up so we can preview it's too high let's go lower 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 maybe about up to this level right here and we'll take from the top and cut slightly from the top so i don't want to over kind of step maybe a little bit more and again we'll add fuzzy this way and bottom and top at this point so we can see our distribution going okay next um i don't want to necessarily have it on kind of side right there so i'm going to take this little bit down and this one down so i'm kind of narrowing some areas okay maybe you know a little bit more and we'll add softness to those areas okay if sun going from one side sometimes it will melt the snow a little bit more Actually, right here cut too much let's bring back and for this one we can start using prefer orientation so we can actually set what orientation we want it and it will kind of going almost from this position of the sun will start melting that snow so in this is add all this additional um natural look again so let's go right here disable and we can say this point we have snow on top and we also have it snow kind of going down from our mountain okay so let's go ahead stop on this part and we'll kind of add a few more maybe elements afterwards and see how this uh, material can transfer between different terrains